This video applies to any Wi-Fi hub. Your Wi-Fi hub will arrive through the letterbox. Inside the box you should have your Wi-Fi hub, a grey broadband cable plugged into a microfilter, an Ethernet cable and a two-part power supply. Please remove any cables, power supply or microfilters you were using with your old router. First, find your main phone socket, which is where the phone line comes into your home. If your main phone socket has just one port, plug in your microfilter, keeping the grey cable attached. If you were using this socket for your home phone, you can now plug it back into the microfilter. Any additional phones which connect to a phone socket will also need a microfilter. If your main phone socket has two ports, you won't need the microfilter. So you can remove this and plug the grey cable directly into the smaller port. Put your Wi-Fi hub upright using the back stand so the ports are along the bottom edge. To connect the Wi-Fi hub, put the free end of the grey cable into the broadband port on the back. To give the best signal, it should face into the room with no obstacles or electrical appliances nearby. Next, slide the two-part power supply together and use it to plug your router into mains electricity and connect to the router itself. Switch on the power socket and the router. A blinking amber light means it is connecting. This may take two to three minutes, so please don't disconnect. When it turns solid white, you're connected. If you have a red light or the light doesn't appear, follow the link below for more help. You're now ready to connect your devices. For this, you'll need the Wi-Fi network name and password card slotted into the back of your Wi-Fi hub. If you need more help, get in touch online.